want the perfect custom, Joe Martin's the guy to see. He's got the vision. But Amanda, she's got the eye. Iron Resurrection is an automotive reality series that follows a master metal fabricator, Joe Martin, and his skilled team as they take on various rusted and old projects, giving them another chance in life. These sorts of series that offer the possibility of witnessing small miracles and dashing transformation are very popular among male audiences as they appear to be an inexhaustible source of exciting content. Iron Resurrection premiered in 2016 on Velocity and has run for five seasons, amassing a loyal fan base. Besides Joe Martin, the series features various other mechanics, welders, and fabricators, including Pompa, but who simply disappeared from the show without any explanation. Iron Resurrection is filmed at Joe Martin's shop, Martin Brother Customs, near Austin, Texas, and features his wife Amanda and Joe's best friend, Jason Shag Arrington. First, they scour the countryside for busted motorcycles and vehicles. Then Joe and his team, which includes several other gifted automotive experts, such as Javier Shorty Ponce, Jason Martin, and Michael Zabinick work their metal magic to transform these unpolished gems into functional, shiny, and coveted iron beasts. At the end of each episode, Joe negotiates with the buyer to score the highest price for his piece. James Conant, the creative director of Iconic Imagery, developed the series, having also worked on similar projects such as Outlaw Garage. The show initially ran on Velocity, but Discovery purchased the majority stake of Motor Trend Publisher in 2018, and the network was rebranded. Compared to many other automotive series, Iron Resurrection focuses on car transformation and features little to no drama, altercations, and exaggerated scenarios for viewers' sake. As with any car shop or workplace, there is mutual respect and trust between the cast members, and the series often features them pulling pranks on each other or making jokes. Given that the Martins don't believe in drama, their working dynamic is relaxed and devoid of stress and casts outbursts. Joe even explains his approach to the series, saying that none of them are actors and drama should be left to the professionals. Another essential feature of the show that sets this series apart from many others is that the transformations are not that dramatic, such as in automotives such as Vegas Hot Rods. In Iron Resurrection, the crew picks up an old and nearly demolished car and then revives it by changing its parts and breathing life into it. Compared to other types of transformation seen in automotive series, their vehicles are not that striking, but the crew takes great pride in their high durability and functionality. Long before Iron Resurrection, Joe Martin appeared in the popular Discovery series entitled Biker's Build-Off, which featured custom motorcycle builders tasked with creating a unique bike. In 2004, he scored a win against Shinya Kimura, which garnered him the attention of the producers of Velocity Channel, who approached him with an offer Joe could not decline. Joe made a teaser reel for a potential series and got the green light. Jason Martin serves as one of the show's producers and deals with behind-the-camera actions. Joe's wife Amanda, with a background in banking, is tasked with the finances and secures the cars for a next-to-nothing price. But Joe and Amanda revealed in several interviews that being on the show changed their lives. They often get stopped by their fans. Joe saying, my wife and I are normal people who just got lucky, and it feels strange when fans approach us and ask for autographs. Even though it might be overwhelming at times, Joe never regretted stepping into the entertainment industry. As he says, we feel so grateful to have the show. It's been priceless to us. Being featured on TV automatically puts hundreds of thousands of eyes on our shop and our work. It's allowed us to work with great customers on amazing cars and set us up to be busy for years to come. When season four debuted, fans were in for a shock. The cast was very different and several recurring members were now nowhere to be seen, including Pompa. The metal worker and mechanic was one of the original cast members and quickly became a fan favorite, partly for his timid personality. Fans rushed social media to express their confusion and demand answers. The producers revealed the reason for some other members' exits, but not Pompa's, which led to numerous speculations and rumors. Even though there was nothing to indicate that Pompa exited due to disagreements with the production, fans voiced several theories to explain his departure. Known as a taciturn personality, Pompa quickly became the laughing stock of other cast members. The fact that he was easily scared, especially with fireworks, only made him a target for others. 
who would often pull pranks on him. Finally, following all the annex on the show and behind the scenes, it seemed that Pompa might have had enough and chose to part ways. However, despite the fans' curiosity and determination to get to the bottom of his departure, this theory is not supported by any conclusive information. On the other hand, many pointed out that Pompa always had a lighthearted reaction to the pranks and that he rarely seemed to take offense to the ribbings. Also, his Instagram bio reads, Thanks for watching Iron Resurrection on Motor Trend. A great time at Martin Brothers Custom. Since he exited the show, fans have never stopped asking whether there was a tiny possibility that Pompa might return to the show. Unfortunately, Pompa is not very active on his social media, and he seldom posts, so it's not easy to find much information about his life and current happenings. However, luckily for his fans, Joe is active on his accounts, and in March 2022, he posted a video of Pompa with one of his pit bulls with hashtag Season 6. Furthermore, in the video, it appears that Pompa is at Joe's shop, which many took as a confirmation that Pompa is still employed at Martin Brothers Customs and might be in season six of the show. Besides Pompa, other cast members were missing. Painter Shorty, assistant mechanic Manny, and custom upholsterer Gato. Shocked by the cast alterations, fans pressured for answers, and the show's producers revealed that the missing cast members chose to leave the show to focus on their private matters. What kind of personal matters, you ask? Stay tuned to learn more. It was revealed that Shorty became a grandfather, and instead of splitting his time between the show and his custom paint shop, he realized that it was better to focus on his business in Dallas so that he could have more quality time with his family. His shop is located in Johnson City, Texas, a three and a half hour drive from Dallas, so the physical distance most likely played a role in his decision to leave the show. If we consider the distance, the demands, and the surge of business at his shop, it appears that Shorty chose to leave. After receiving numerous emails, questions, and messages on his social media, Shorty released a video addressing his fans, saying, at the end of the third season, I weighed my option and made the decision that made the most sense for me, and that was to come back home to my family and my shop. I am adding to my shop, and hopefully it would be done soon. And when it does, I'm going to put the address on the website. He also invited all people and fans going through Dallas to visit his shop and hinted that he might return to the show. He definitely parted on good terms with the crew. Shorty has since done events with Joe and Amanda to promote his business, which negates the rumor that Shorty was fired from the show. Phil Cato is another notable member of the show whose departure was not easy on the fans. However, despite the producer's statement, his reasons for leaving the show are unrelated to family matters. For all those who missed the chance to meet Cato, he is a very skilled upholstery specialist who turned out impressive work at Joe's shop. According to reports, Cato opted to leave the show after his wife landed a great job opportunity in Atlanta, Georgia, to where Cato and his family relocated. Furthermore, Cato moved his business to Atlanta, rebranding it Cato's Custom Upholstery. Producers and creators of the show stated that despite the several cast members' departure, they had remained good friends. After a nearly two-year hiatus, the long-awaited fifth season of the series premiered in June 2021. When the season concluded, fans began asking about a sixth season and whether the show would be renewed. According to various media outlets, the show is yet to be renewed or canceled. However, judging from Joe Martin's Instagram account, Martin Brothers Customs, there are strong indications that season six is underway. In November 2021, Joe posted a photo of Amanda and their dog in the car being filmed by a camera crew with the hashtag season six. Furthermore, he published several images of various vehicles and their transformation, which is another good sign that the sixth season will be coming to Motor Trend. Even though the shop is called Martin Brothers Customs, the true power couple behind it are Joe and Amanda. Joe is a mechanic, artist, and entrepreneur whose passion for cars and motorcycles can be traced back to his youth. He was born in Chicago, Illinois, then when he was 10, relocated with his family to Texas. Growing up, Joe admired the works of Boyd Coddington, but which were always out of his price range. However, this inspired him to start making his own parts and vehicles, relying on the skill he picked up from his neighbors or learned himself. Besides the legendary hot rod master Coddington, Joe is a fan of Wayne Carini, the host of Cashing Classic Cars, 
and a world-class restorer with decades of experience under his belt. Long before Joe appeared on Biker Build-Off, he worked as a builder and mechanic for various shops and later opted to launch his own shop. Even though they have their own show and celebrity status, not much is known about their relationship or marriage, such as their wedding date. Joe and Amanda prefer to keep private matters away from the public gaze and rarely share anything with the fans. On the other hand, this is not unusual given that they don't appreciate drama and believe personal issues and happenings have nothing to do with an automotive series. Amanda was born and raised in Red Oak, Texas, where she attended Red Oak High School. After matriculating, she enrolled at a university to pursue a degree in finance, but which university remains a mystery. Following her graduation, Amanda worked for Wells Fargo for five years, then transferred to Pioneer Bank where she rose through the ranks and became assistant vice president. She remained there for four years and eventually left the company in 2017 to join her husband's business as a full-time employee and partner. Given that Amanda has been part of the show since the first season, it's most likely that the fame and success the show brought her influenced her decision to quit her job. She plays a vital role in the shop and the business, managing their finances and picking the car parts. Amanda is very knowledgeable about cars and loves attending Specialty Equipment Marketing Association, SEMA shows. In one interview, she revealed her favorite part of the show, saying, I'm most excited to see the builders that I have never heard of, the up-and-comers. The young gals and guys that are out here and never had a car out here are really cool. Finally, even though Pampa had his reasons to part from the show, the fact that he might come back to Iron Resurrection is pretty exciting. However, in case that he doesn't, fans can always enjoy the company of the fantastic team, Joe, Jason, and Amanda, or potential new additions to the team. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.